Solar-powered cars blast through Australia's outback in a race that showcases engineering innovation and sustainable solutions. The event that we are a part of is truly a marathon. And this year, teams are eyeing not only the power of the sun, but also the wind with new high-tech fins. Fins are the flavor of the month, certainly the flavor of this event. The Bridgestone World Solar Challenge pushes the limits of technological innovation in a nearly 2,000-mile race from Darwin to Adelaide using energy-efficient electric vehicles. For the first time, the race is taking place in the winter with an estimated 20% less sun. It's prompted teams to take it up a notch, with several turning to high-tech fins, which help harness crosswinds on their ultralight aerodynamic designs. One of those cars is the University of Michigan's Millennium. Despite eight podium finishes in the Aussie race, they have yet to take home the gold. The team is hopeful a new set of features, including a retractable fin, will boost their result. It's designed to enhance the car's aerodynamics, increasing its speed in optimal conditions, while also stabilizing the vehicle in the heavy outback winds. Team manager Matthew Anderson explains the fin's benefits. It's a vertical airfoil that uh, has two main benefits. First, it draws out forward thrust like a sail on a boat. And second, it steadies us in crosswinds. So kind of like a rudder on an airplane, it helps us drive more straight in the harsh uh, winds of the outback. It's fully robotic and it can be controlled from our chase vehicle. Three other top teams are also utilizing a fin system in what organizers have nicknamed the Battle of the Fins. The Brunel Solar Team from the Netherlands sports two movable fins on their car, named Nuna 13. A test by Volkswagen's Wolfsburg Research Center recorded the car's fins reducing drag significantly, enabling the Nuna 13 to conserve battery energy in specific crosswind conditions. Other technologies seen at the event include Team Michigan's Solar Array Balancer. It's a partnership with American solar company OptiVault, which says the car can deliver 25 times more power than a standard array in shade. Bridgestone Motorsports director and former McLaren F1 engineering lead Hiroshi Amai predicts technologies emerging from the race will soon be integrated into mainstream road vehicles. This event is very relevant to uh, look at the future, and even near future technology uh, may come from this kind of events.